Hi friends, uh, welcome to my second video. Uh, first of all, thank you very much uh, for uh, all your messages uh, in various platforms. It is really positive. It's, it's, it feels great when a lot of people send messages about the first video and uh, I'm sure that we'll do justification to the, the subject matter that we have taken. So getting straight away into the topic, uh, today we will see a little bit of how national education policy has an impact on schools. The government naturally has given more thrust on schools than any other uh, thing, be it higher education or, or at college level, that impact and thrust has been more at school levels. So straight away, let us get into the subject. At school levels, uh, we are used to this 10 plus 2, right? Uh, K-12 we call in Indian system, that is kindergarten to 12 standard. Now this entire K-12 from next year is be completely abolished. So there's not going to be a K-12 at all. So you're wondering what is going to happen to the schools? Yes, a new perspective has been given that has replaced K-12, which is nothing but 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4. So five years, first five, starting from age 3 onwards will be called as foundation level and then the next 3 years would be called as preparatory level, the next 3 years would be called as middle level and then the last 4 years would be called as secondary level, right? So the foundation level starts from pre-KG in Indian language I should say, goes on till grade 2. So pre-KG, LKG or junior KG, senior KG or UKG grade 1 and grade 2 forms the foundation. The preparatory starts at grade 3, 4 and 5. So 3 years for preparatory and 3 more years for middle that is grade 6, 7 and 8 and last 4 years that is grade 9, 10, 11 and 12 from now on will be called as secondary. Now what, 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 is, what is the big deal? You might ask me a question what is the big deal about this? It is all the same K12 replaced by 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4. Now there is a change. Now if you look at international syllabuses or international education at school levels, be it IB or IGCSE, I am talking about international baccalaureate or IGCSE, which is the Cambridge, it has its own curriculum at kindergarten levels. The curriculum that's been taught in all the IB schools and IGCSE schools across India is a part of the curriculum that's been framed by their own uh, their own syllabus, that is IB and IGCSE. Whereas in Indian system, there is no syllabus that is owned by CBSE for kindergarten levels. Now NCERT, we all know this, we all would have come across this term somewhere, NCERT which comes up with the syllabus for CBSE does not have a syllabus till today for kindergarten. The syllabus for CBSE starts from grade 1. There are other private syllabus providers like Montessori which is good, I am not saying it is good, bad, you are not here to debate about Montessori or other modes, right, that is not the whole idea. The whole idea is with NCERT going to come up with new syllabus, what is going to happen because of this is, is it is very simple. The kindergarten and the play school will now become a part of formal school education system. Now all along this has never been a part of formal school education system. The formal school education system from by CBSE or by the some of the state governments starts at grade 1. But from now this is going to change. You might still ask me what is the difference. Now several research and several reports uh, have clearly come up with a finding that a brain of a child grows up to 85% it reaches up to 85% till the age of 6, which means whatever a child learns during these formative years between 0 and 6 forms the major learning of any child. Now imagine when you don't have a syllabus at all, uh, when you don't have anything to teach at that age, be it in a, through formal education or through informal education, what's going to happen? The child will not learn much later. I mean, teaching them at a very later stage, it's not going to help any of them. So now CBSE will form, will come up with a new syllabus that will talk about, it won't be a class board training at all. It will now focus on watering skills. It will now focus on playway method. It's going to focus on early literacy and numeracy, which is very, very important. Through drawing, through painting, good behavioral skills, ethics, etc. So now NCERT will come up based on, uh, with a new syllabus based on the above things. Now what is going to happen with this is because it's definitely I would say it's going to be a game changer. The reason for that is when you formalize all these things and then you teach at school at kindergarten level, a child will be totally school ready when it goes to grade 1 onwards. 
Now, most of the students, we live in urban areas, right? In urban areas, you don't see any problem. The gross enrollment ratio is very, very, very high in urban areas. When you go to rural areas, when you go to suburban areas, this is a challenge. Now, crores and crores of children be before the age of six don't have access to early education at all. Now, with this, the crores and crores of underprivileged children who don't get access to education will now get an opportunity to learn at a very young age through proper mechanism. So it's not going to be boardroom teaching. Please don't get it wrong. It's going to be a very, very simple playway method that CBSE is going to come up with. So that's a huge uh, plus, I would say. I would say it's a massive plus. Now, the next thing is, see, CBSE or, or the new board, uh, the new policy that's going to come up, Will, will, be, will focus a lot on experiential learning. Now, experiential learning was something which was missing when we studied during our generation. We never used to know what this experiential learning is. It's taught these days in some of the international boards. But now the new syllabus will focus more on experiential learning. Experiential learning is nothing but hands-on education. You do something, you do something hands-on. That's experiential learning, right? There's going to be arts integration, there's going to be sports integration. Imagine arts and sports integration were never a part of something when we studied. So for us, sports is, that's it, right? Drills, uh, we used to do some sports activities here and there. But imagine if sports is going to become a part of your syllabus, it's going to integrate. Right now, if you ask me personally, a sportsman is highly disciplined. Usually a sportsman is very disciplined in nature. Teamwork will be more with a sportsman. Now, these things can be integrated and taught together. That's what is going to happen when I mean by sports integration. By art integration, it, we will imbibe the ethos of Indian art culture into the syllabus, which means there will be a link between education and culture. So, two things from today, sports integration and art integration, I'm sure what is going to happen is this will make the classrooms much, much more joyful than what it is today right so the learning so far quickly we will summarize first is focus a lot on early child education which means early childhood education the kindergarten is going to become a formal part of the school industry of the schools number two art integration and science and, and sports integration and there's going to be experiential learning doesn't it sound positive i am very much bullish on this very much bullish about it and this is going to definitely make the classrooms much more livelier than what it was at least from today and trust me when this becomes practice cbsc will be looked or cbsc or the national boards or the respective state boards will be looked at par with any international board be it ib or igcse or any international board even icse for that matter so all along uh, this is a very positive trend i should say for more such videos and more further more comprehensive analysis on another topic inside nep we will post it sometime tomorrow Thanks once again for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.